So, uh, going today, we will be learning about FIRE, FHIR, Fast Health Interability and Reliability. So, uh, going uh, with the explanation, I don't want to discuss more about what is FIRE, who formed FIRE and uh, make you feel bored. I directly want to jump in the topic in comparison of HL7 and FHIR. So, you will understand the FIRE much better than the initial concepts and you will gain the concepts and understandings to know the future of uh, why we are going to use FIRE and what it is. We can dip, uh, dig uh, much deeper into the history in future, but yeah, my topic from day one is not fire introduction, but HL7 was FHIR. So um, I'm assuming like most of the people who are coming to this video are uh, much aware of HL7, but even if you know the basic concepts of HL7, you will be able to easily understand this video and I'll make uh, like multiple videos in future uh, about this fire and that tutorial will be continuation of this first video so i would appreciate if you start from the scratch let's start uh, with the help of a uh, comparison so in the hl7 we have something known as pit the pit segment is nothing but which has patient detail so we call it as a segment so similarly in fire if something we can relate we can call it as a resource so every resource has specific details for example uh, in the segment, this has only uh, PID details. For example, I can call a patient resource. So in the patient resource, all the details related to the patient will be present. So something like that, there will be multiple resources in fire, which you can use data from and form a final particular uh, template. So what we'll do, we'll directly jump into the fire resource on the Google and see what we're getting. So I'll click over this and just type something known as fire patient resource yep that's it when i click on the first part this is nothing but the fire patient resource you don't get confused with all the details over here what i'll help you with just click on the resource types over here you can even go here but uh, if you want to start from scratch you can click on resource types there will be multiple resources uh, in the name of alphabetical order or categorized on the base of uh, different aspects so you don't need to get confused just click alphabetical order and you can search for the patient uh, which is nothing but P over here so even you do control F and click somewhere for example if you are in categorized I'll do control F and do something like patient you'll easily get uh, it so it's it's your wish on how you want to go here this is an absolute uh, very good work by HL7 org on categorizing it you'll understand it later how this categorization has been done now I'll click on patient resource you can see inside the patient resource how the structure is formed this is almost similar like the HL7 structure okay you don't need to get confused uh, of what is it for example if we have a patient in HL7 inside there are like multiple details okay for example if I click again on something known as name over here you can see again inside name you have uh, multiple other details like uh, patient first name family name and everything so it, it's similarly like HL7 but in a completely different format and people might feel uh, fire is a completely HL7 uh, JSON format but no fire can be in any format you can see uh, you have a UML diagram over here it's in UML format if I zoom it a bit you can see over here different dates if I click on this particular name again it will go into the subtopic similarly like HL7 so what we have been knowing over here so it can be in XML format you don't need to worry about all these formats these are very very simple you can use whatever format you want for the fire concept so you can uh, see it's a JSON format one of the easiest format which will, I will be explaining over the videos the turtle format and different formats so comparison of HL7 learning fire is much easy it's much easy because you don't need to learn about all uh, like uh, field separators, component separators, filter uh, like iteration separators, a lot of things. So it at least takes to learn about all this uh, separators and subcomponent separators. At least at least uh, two or three hours if you much focus and to get practice uh, multiple days. But learning fire is simply simply very easy. Just understand the structure and you will learn it forever so that's what i want to say like uh, fire is much easy comparison to hl7 and now still you might be confused what is uh, patient resource what is uh, uh, pit segment i just want to see one second yes we can go here you can see if i zoom it a bit uh, we'll go to json format 
if I zoom it a bit uh, and we, we will do one thing we will do control F and we will search on the name perfect okay you can see over here name and it says something known as human name no worries so you might uh, be thinking about what is last name and first name you will get it not a problem at all so inside human names uh, you have uh, many other details so I will clearly explain what is fire now so let's not get confused but we'll make it very simple I'll come back to here and we'll do one thing so in HL7 for example uh, we'll uh, take a comparison of HL7 message and start with the fire so I'll paste one sample uh, PID segment over here you can see how it is even if you go to the HL7 soup if you click on the name part you can see uh, it has a family name given name second name and a lot of other details I'll just uh, take a screenshot of it so inside uh, the name you have like multiple other details I will be pasting it over here for our understanding so inside uh, the patient name you have multiple other details let's start uh, building a fire uh, resource for this particular patient from scratch so we'll be able to understand it much better so before learning fire uh, you should learn at least any one of the format like XML, JSON and Turtle. JSON would be the easiest one and I'll train you how to learn it. So not a problem at all. We'll get back to this empty screens and start learning about fire. So I will go to this uh, particular patient and structure. You can see over here you might find a few details. Yes, this is what I was searching for. So if you click on the name over here or else you can click on a human name over here you might end up with lot of other details you might be uh, completely confused but if you see it's again in the same pattern like uh, it has a family name given name prefix uh, period and everything so nothing to worry at all the structure is absolutely same like the HL7 I'll just copy it over here for our understanding so everything is almost same like uh, the family name given name maybe few things will be added over here uh, with the cardinality and other changes but uh, the structure and the formation is same so no need to get confused about what is HL7 and FHR the only uh, thing changes like uh, rather than learning all this uh, field separator, signal separators, component separators it is very simple it will be in any of the format given which is easiest for you you can just uh, copy this so what I will do I will copy this and I will paste it over here so okay I will remove this links for our understanding just focus on the video you will uh, get it much better perfect you might be thinking uh, this is a little bit confusing I cannot understand this but I'll make sure uh, you will be understanding it much better than this format so what we'll do uh, we will use notepad plus plus to understand how this format looks in real time I'll copy this you can see it is a little bit clumsy over here so it's better to use uh, notepad plus plus or any other tool available for you even uh, the rich text uh, will be helpful in the MacBook currently this is for Windows see when I copied over here it's in a, such a good shape uh, if it is not showing similarly you can go to language click on J and click on JSON so it would be in a similar format so this all uh, coloring pattern is nothing but the comments you can ignore this uh, all the color patterns but see just see over here how simple it is they have family name given name and everything again if you feel it difficult I'll explain you again a simple simple way so think uh, something uh, like that so if we are uh, aware of few things in Java or Python we call something like key and a value okay every key has a value for example if I say uh, my favorite cricketer is a key I'll say Sachin is a value so if you say what is a patient name okay I will say yeah Virat Kohli so it's easy uh, easy to understand so this would be in a similar uh, pattern too nothing to worry it's uh, it really looks simple right so we'll try uh, more things so what we'll do we understand this uh, key value pattern right that's uh, amazing now we need to understand other concept something known as object anything just called which is in the flower bracket is known as object 
anything which is in this particular square brackets is known as array so we might have already heard about arrays multiple times and objects multiple times if you know this uh, three things three concepts you already know now so you know 99.9% .9 of the JSON everything will be in either object or either array either in the key or value format now let's create an object so any mirth uh, like uh, sorry I'm talking about mirth any fire resource uh, of JSON type would be under the flower brackets you can see over here and you can see over here so first everything should be inside the object I'll do something like this okay I created an object okay so what I'll do okay ding 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 yeah so it looks odd right when I type something over here I'll just uh, click enter oh my god yeah so I let's click enter automatically my notepad uh, makes in this format it would be easy to understand then I'll do something like uh, name in the double quotes I'll give it as a name and I created a key is nothing but this particular key with the column over here so the name would be uh, some famous name okay I'll give it as Ronaldo okay it looks good so inside my object there is a key and there's a name Ronaldo I'll give enter and I want to create another key known as age okay I don't know the exact age so I allow him when he's in early 30s so I'll give it as 30 and I'll give some other thing like uh, the height if you want okay it's being difficult for me now to tell the height so I will give something known as 1.8 meters okay that's it uh, we have formed the object with the basic details of uh, name age and height of the particular patient so similarly each resource this complete thing is known as a resource just an assumption okay it's not an actual template for your understanding I'm just giving so this complete values altogether is known as a resource so you can completely avoid confusion on what is a resource so I'll just copy over here and uh, make our notes if you say resource what is resource this basic sample uh, altogether can be a resource but actual resource is little bit lengthy with all the details now what we'll do uh, we'll create complexities we know right uh, inside name we have something known as uh, family name given name and everything so over here we in only gave name so how if we have multiple things so what I will do I need multiple things over here means uh, I need family name given name and multiple other names so over here I will not be giving Donaldo directly okay I will give something known as again uh, a flower bracket this flower bracket is nothing known as again an object so what I will do I will paste something known as imagine this is the first name that looks good Cristiano again uh, I'll give a comma I'll give a second name Ronaldo this is almost like uh, the concept of HL7 just we are using uh, brackets uh, this square brackets floor brackets keys rather than using most complex thing in HL7 it's easy to read and understand imagine uh, is, it, is it easy to read this thing or is it easy to read this particular thing it was much easy so you don't need to be think that fire is some rocket science it is much much uh, easier than what we imagine coming before here so not a problem so uh, I want to give like uh, other details for example imagine uh, this might be the prefix of Ronaldo so actually this is Ronaldo's full name Los Santos so we can give a lot of details like inside name first name last name uh, like prefix family name a lot of other things whether it's a doctor whatever it is so it can be a uh, little bit uh, enlarged so to my understanding and to make it very simple uh, I'll press enter over here okay and even I'll press enter over here so how we will know whether this is a first name or last name or second name so what I will do over here again I give something known as family name and I give this colon 
looks amazing right perfect again I press end over here uh, I'll give something known as given name we call him as Ronaldo Ross right not Cristiano Ronaldo every time given name I will give this column and I will give this quote over here that's it uh, did we make any mistakes uh, absolutely we made a mistake yeah we need to give quote perfect you can see inside a name we have a sub components like family name and given name okay similarly I will press enter uh, I, I will say something like uh, yeah ra randomly I'm just choosing it as a prefix okay follow see how it, easy it is to understand because if you if you take in mirth it will not be in a color coding format generally I copied it in a color coding format it will be very difficult in notepad to understand or any any place any Rhapsody, Mirth, Ensemble, wherever you're working. But you can see uh, the color coding changes over here and it's very, very easy to understand with this uh, brackets over here. This is a key, this is a value. This is a parent key, okay? This is a child key. So inside parent, if you have multiple uh, child keys, again, you can give the values over here. So it is as easy as much. So even if inside the age, if you have multiple uh, subcomponents like HL7, you can give the similar pattern. As we are choosing the language as JSON, it is easy to understand. For example, if we are choosing something like uh, uh, Rust, again, it will change. Generally, it wouldn't be in this thing. So you can even play around with uh, multiple language. For example, if I choose CoffeeScript, wow, actually, it's amazing. Yeah, let's uh, get back to the topic rather than playing around over here yeah perfect right so it's nothing uh, just uh, creating a sub component similarly like in HL7 fashion now uh, let's start comparing multiple other things when we'll be using the array and things for example just imagine uh, in, in HL7 why we'll be using this uh, this particular thing and what it is called so this is called repetition character right and I'm just uh, making an equal symbols just a comparison between HL7 and over here and uh, we have something known as component separator so over here if you go we have a component separator in a particular field if you have multiple things like a uh, first name second name and a lot of other things you are separating with the component but here we are giving separating with this particular floor bracket which is nothing but object so similarly over here uh, we don't have a repetition character for example uh, if you have phone number or whatever scenario yeah for phone number absolutely we have multiple numbers so we will be using this uh, repetition character so similarly over here for this array we are going to use uh, the repetition character it's uh, very very simple right I think it's good to copy in the notes we'll start copying it thanks that's perfect so what I'll do I'll remove this and I'll do something like that and similarly uh, for the array I'll remove this I'll copy it over here just in a comparison okay you can remove the equal as we know uh, we are dividing both HL7 and fire over here the left side is HL7 and the right side is fire yep uh, again I don't want to make it as complex as possible in the starting session itself but I want you to understand basics very very strong so you could be easy for you now let's start uh, we have something known as uh, a phone number okay we'll come what we'll do we'll create a key as phone number okay and we'll give a column and we'll give something like ding 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 some 10 digit number and you should never forget you should give it the bulk codes too that looks good now what if we have uh, multiple phone numbers uh, similar to this particular pattern so it is repeating so if anything which is repeating we will use the array so it is again much much easy if anything which is repeating we will use the array we'll come back so there will be a lot of uh, repetition characters in real time what I'll do, I will 
remove this completely and I will keep an array over here so it's simple I will give the phone number so again you should remember uh, the double quotes I'll give you the phone number with some random number you can try a call and I'll give comma again I will give you okay I will again give some sorry random numbers as a phone number that's it uh, the reputation character suffice and if I go to HL7 soup uh, over here and uh, if we have a phone number something like this we can uh, give multiple uh, numbers similarly like a reputation character okay now I don't want to confuse you again I'll go back Why not uh, let's uh, compare this so this is the phone number I will give a repetition character in HL7 even if you are new to HL7 you can understand so I am giving a second phone number again I will give a repetition character again I will be giving a third phone number it's my wish okay so uh, over here uh, you can see in the PID 13 uh, yeah you can see there is a first phone number and a second phone number and a third phone number which has been created if I remove this repetition character you can see only two phone numbers created similarly over here in fire if you want to repeat something you can give the array so what I can say array is a repetition character similarly like HL7 and object is a component separator you give you have multiple components inside it that makes very simple right you don't need to learn really really many of fire and the other thing is like whatever template you are comfortable in you can send the fire resource so fire is not uh, something uh, again which is very complicated it's very easy user friendly whatever format you like in your industry you can use the same format so uh, in HL7 uh, you can you know right uh, you can only use uh, the format over here sample message so you can't cannot use anything else so in fire you can use anything so it's the it's user friendly uh, because we have so many things people will get confused uh, what is fire what is JSON if you even this particular website is much much uh, easy to understand but uh, it will take some time you to understand for example if you come over here it will be difficult you for you watching this oh my god what is all these things HL7 was much much better right no if you dig deep uh, in all this resource it's actually easy but yeah they never make it uh, much easy to understand even the HL7 document it would be very very tough to through. now let's get back to, uh, to our session